I'm not pro-black more than I'm pro-God. Mm. And I don't care what black people think. Greetings, y'all, and welcome to Seek Things Above TV. I'm your host, Lou Chikuni. So we got an interesting story here for y'all today. Christian rapper D1 put a post on his Instagram page where he was talking about how he is more pro-God than he is pro-black. And this resulted in a number of people responding to him, and one of those people happened to be Lecrae. And after D1 saw Lecrae's response to him, he made another video responding to Lecrae. So we're going to get into all of that today. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking this kind of content, and doing all that good stuff. But without further ado, let's dive right into this video, man. The Bible does not make room for ratchetness and righteousness. Mm. But black culture does, and hip-hop culture does. It makes room to be ratchet and righteous. There's literally a popular... I, I saw Christians <laughs> posting about that stuff. I'm righteous and ratchet. Man, well, forget y'all. We ain't on the same team because I'm real righteous and relevant. You heard me? That's what I am. I'm not righteous and ratchet. Like, what are y'all talking about? But black culture... I'm not pro-black more than I'm pro-God. Mm. And I don't care what black people think. You know what I'm saying? Am yeah. I black? Am I proud to be black? Yes. But I'm not pro-black more than I'm pro-God, man. Because being pro-black will allow for a bunch of foolish, ratchet behavior that in the name of blackness, we all celebrated. So that was D1's first video right there. And honestly, man, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. Because our identity as believers is always supposed to be first and foremost in Christ. So whether it's our racial identity, our nationality, our family name organization, a team, a group, whatever it is, all that has to come second to being in Christ. And therefore, all other things that are attached to that other identity that don't fall in line with our Christian identity must be removed or must come under submission to the rule and the reign of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I couldn't really find anything wrong or anything that someone would want to, uh, you know, attack this video for. But anyway, let's get into the second video and jump back in after that with some commentary. Lecrae, brother, you got to stop. You coming across real lukewarm right now. I recently posted a video where I said, as believers, we can't glorify being righteous and ratchet. Then you wanted to insert yourself into the conversation. So you came behind me and posted a video saying that we need to keep some aspects of ratchetness and we need to do away with other aspects. Listen, bro, I know you. So I know you have a desire to fit in with the culture, but don't let that desire to fit in with the culture cause you to co-sign actions from the culture that are not of God. You heard me? Then you went on to say they were probably calling Jesus ratchet. Brother, no, you don't know that. Like you're making that up. You don't know if they were calling Jesus ratchet. And even if they were, guess what? He wasn't calling himself ratchet. You heard me? So we know that we're sinners and we know that we need God's grace, but that don't mean that we co-sign a lifestyle or a term. You said hip hop was birthed from a place of ratchetness. No, it wasn't birthed from a place of ratchetness, bro. Like, where are you getting this from? And then you replied to me in your comments. I told you you could call me or we could go on IG Live if you want. You replied to me in your comments and your definition of ratchet that you gave, as like how you see it, was literally copy and pasted from Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Bro, you come across real suburban when you tell me that that's your definition of ratchet, bro. So all I'm saying is as believers, we got to watch what we co-sign with our platform. You could call me. We could go on IG Live. Let me know. But be careful, man. Real talk. So we don't have the video or the post where Lecrae said these things that D1 is responding to. But however, from D1's response, I think we can gather the general tone of it because He's basically responding to key points in whatever was uh, whatever Lecrae said, right? So this idea, you know, he mentioned like, I know that you want to fit in with the culture, right? So he made that statement. I know you want to fit in with the culture. This idea of being a bridge between the church and the world at the expense of obeying Christ and submitting our lives and every aspect of our lives to Christ is a very dangerous idea. And you will find this being very prevalent in the culture that we're in right now. 
This is not just something that is limited to Christian hip hop or Christian music. This you're seeing in so many different spheres. In a lot of ways, these popular TV shows like The Chosen or even things like uh, these campaigns that you find like He Gets Us are all designed to make Jesus more relatable and cool and make him seem like everybody else and by extension make Christians or what is deemed to be proper Christianity to be like that as well. So it's selling an idea that Christianity should be this thing that is very accepting of everything that's, that, uh, that people are about and not confront the people in love about those things that don't comport to a Christian lifestyle. I think we've seen that pattern a lot with Lecrae. As D1 mentioned, this, this um, idea or this instinct, this drive, this motivation to be friends or fit in with the culture is something that you see with him a lot. And as a result, we're seeing things like him saying that hip hop came from a place of ratchetness, that Jesus probably would have been called ratchet. And D1 is addressing all these things and saying like, yo, like that's not even true. Because if we look at this term ratchetness and we're not even gonna look at the Wikipedia thing, we're just gonna look at the popular, how it's used in the culture today. This term is not just simply saying, okay, you come from a poor place. This is like a way that you uh, conduct yourself. There's, 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 there's baggage that comes with the term ratchet. As soon as you hear somebody say that they're ratchet, there's a certain imagery that comes in your mind and a certain type of person and a way that they conduct themselves and just a total attitude that comes with it. And to deny that and try to separate it or to try to maybe uh, sell it in a different way just doesn't fit with the way that this is used in the culture today. Now, the last thing we're going to look at is this video right here from Lecrae interviewing Tasha Cobbs. And the question was about secular collaborations. Some of y'all may have seen this post already, but I think it's good to observe this so we can kind of see where Lecrae comes from on these issues and the mindset behind it. And you can see more of what D1 is actually talking about just by watching this clip. So let's check this out real quick. Watching this clip, we can see Lecrae's thoughts on collaborating with secular artists. And basically at the end of the video, you can see him and Tasha Cobbs Leonard in her, in her regard, it was how she collaborated with Nicki Minaj. We can see how they both view this as like, yo, at the end of the day, the ends justifies the means. Because if some people are reached for Christ, then this was successful, this was a good thing. It doesn't always mean because somebody hears the gospel that the method was a method to actually please the Lord, contrary to, to what people might think. God will save people in spite of our actions. God will reach people in spite of our actions. And so we're seeing this kind of approach where people want to wrap their arm around the world and forget who they are in the process in order to do ministry. That approach in the end is just not going to work. That is not a approach that is pleasing to the Lord or I think really allows our light to shine because we are losing some of ourselves in the process of trying to endear ourselves to the world. In this conversation, you also see how Lecrae and Tasha Cobbs Leonard seem to think that because they feel that God is leading them to do this, that it is right. And so notice that is they felt or, or she heard from God. She thought God told her that. My friends, if God tells you something, if you think you're hearing from God and whatever you're being led to do is contrary to the scriptures, then you're not hearing from the Lord. That is not you hearing from the Lord. We must measure our own thoughts, our own uh, dreams, our own plans, and everything against what the scriptures say. And if we're not in agreement with the scriptures, then at that point, we need to fall back. We need to realize that we don't have it all figured out. With all that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. 
Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. All right? God bless y'all, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.